All right, we get some sound here. All right, all right. Looks like we are ready. Hold on, yeah, let's just check this out here real quick. Anyways, I am finally on. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to to do a little bit of live side by side uh, with uh, a couple of really fun drones. Actually, one really fun drone and another one that's yet to be determined. And I thought I'd just for Friday have a little bit of fun with them. So, and I know Dennis has got, he had his headphones on. He was probably banging his head against the wall. And of course, his wife probably said, turn that down. Because he was probably, uh, he was probably uh, making, uh, he's probably singing to the, to, the me, to the music, maybe making his own lyrics. So, hey, how you doing, Dennis? I thought I'd take a little bit of time since I have these things handy um, just to kind of go and look at them, feel them, you know, touch, kind of like get some close-ups. A lot of th a lot of times you get uh, to a uh, a uh, you know a drone and you know you see it on uh, an unboxing or whatever, and you can't tell them, hey, will you flip it over and show me that a little bit more, or you know, can you actually you know bring the propellers close to the you know to the to the uh, you know to the to the camera, so you can't manipulate it, can you? So I thought it'd be kind of fun to manipulate the. Um, the drone a little bit live. So if anybody was making the mistake of buying one or the other or make, maybe thinking about pulling the trigger on one, uh, even with uh, some of the failings of it. So I have to repair the wall. <laughs> Dennis, yeah, we put his head through the wall. How you been, Dennis? How's everything been going? I've, uh, you thinking about uh, your, you think about what you're going to do over the summer with the maybe trips that you're going to take? to take your little baby on. Let me go grab my baby really quick. Ugh. My new baby. Okay, so, and I love it. I got my baby set up. Now, guys, I, I have a Mavic, the, a Mavic Pro Platinum. You guys have seen me fly that thing. That is a way better drone than this, okay? And I have fallen in love with this little spark. Hey, what's up, Philly? Now Philly's an expert. He's like he's like a friggin' Mavic king. I should I should Skype call one of you guys. I could Skype call you, but you guys you guys probably are anti Skype. Philly's just getting uh, getting to know. Um, you should probably have Skype on. Huh? Doing great. Summer plans depend on. Ah, you got a visitor coming in. What's up? Hey, how you doing? EBR FPV is also in the house, but yes, I am. I know this is not a nothing new, guys. And you guys, sometimes, you know, we get overwhelmed with people uh, showing us the same crap over and over and over again. Come on here, dang it, computer! What are you doing? There we go. I turn it off. I just want to pop my chat out so I can. Not have to look over at this screen all the time. Hold on here, guys. A little chat pop. There we go. Bring it over here. All right. Um, I've I've got a monitor set up too. I've got a uh, a uh, view monitor for a um, so we can look at so we can get some close up views um, of of the two drones that that I bought. Now I know. I, I just think that if if I wish somebody would do this where they'd get get the drone on um, instead of you know setting up a a video that's uh, that it has uh, you know it's all pre canned uh, this one would allow some interaction so if you wanna if you wanna like for sure decide hey this is something I do not want to buy you know but you want yeah, I need you to prove it to me that this thing sucks okay and what I'm talking about is this one right here. Let me flip over really quick. 
It's this one right here. Oh, there we got Dad Random Sunglasses right there. Uh, but this thing right here, this is um, oh, a little bit of glare there on that. All right. But this is the Breeze. Uh, this is the Breeze in the box. Um, and I haven't shown anybody me flying it yet because it's I'm just not ready for that yet. I'm still thinking about how I want to how I want to show it off. The Breeze is the ultimate wussy girly drone. I'm just going to tell you. If you want to embarrass yourself in front of your friends, buy one of these and take it to the flight field and go, look, guys, I bought a Breeze. Okay. It, and, uh, you know, and I, I've, I've already taken this thing out of the box and uh, I've already taken all the crap out of it. it the, you know, the five books. I went and bought this thing right here, uh, the little repeater, this me repeater. But um, let me go ahead and move this over really quick. So we got... I'm getting like ultra close-ups here. So I just gotta move, I just gotta move some stuff around, hold on. But uh, I want everybody to see the controller and stuff like that, just so you really get a, a, a true appreciation for, um, for how, how junky this thing really is. It is, guys, I, did, I hardly paid anything for this thing. This thing is a, a Cherry 2 owner, okay? Um, I looked at the at the uh, at the information that that you know people when they when they buy these things they don't uh, take off their personal information. This thing has been in the hands of not one, not two, but three different owners, and I am now the fourth. So see all my four fingers right there. All right, I am the fourth owner. Bam! Fourth owner of this drone. Um, this drone has made, has, you know, I think almost all these drones are, are basically having that same thing happen. But let me go ahead and take this out. Let's take the controller out. But this is a Breeze controller. Um, uh, you know, real, real, uh, you know, I, my when I bought the controller for the Parrot Bebop, the fly pad, the fly pad actually feels like a, a, a uh, you know, a class one awesome controller. This truly f feels worse than a, an Xbox controller or a, or a PlayStation controller. Um, I, I, I don't even give it, I would, I don't even give it that, uh, that quality at all. It is, it is, it is a charging control though. So it literally, you don't have to put batteries in it. That's a good thing. So, um, Guys, this is not an unboxing. I don't do unboxings. Okay. Well, I did one or eh, okay. I've done a couple, but it's not my thing. Okay. But there's a little case. Everybody shows you the freaking case that this comes. The case, you know, when you look at it, it's plastic and everything. But it is cheap plastic. So, all right. Yeah, I'm surprised it's still exactly after three owners love my drones. I'm surprised it's still now. I'll, I'll tell you the things that I did with it. Uh, now, I wish, gosh, I wish I could get out further. I can't, I can't bring my camera out any further. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a little further out. Um, but uh, I'll go ahead and try to give you guys, I'll, I'll zoom in, you know, on this thing. I might even turn that, the, I might even turn that light off. I don't know. That just changes the color. I'll get it. I'll move it around to take the glare off. But now, this drone really could have been good. I mean, when when Unique put this thing out, or when they start when they 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 started their research and development on this project, um, they they just did some really um, did some really strange things. Uh, but it's when you you know like I said when people pick it up and most most people will tell you when they handle this thing and I'll I'll bring it up to the camera this way. When they handle it, it 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 tr when I first got it, it was you know it was jacked uh, so. For example, this plastic here was separated a little bit, and I just had to pop it back into place. It probably got a really hard landing. Now, and I'll, t I'll tell you some of the things that I think is o are okay about it. I mean, there are some things, guys, on this drone that are are actually really good, and I think they put that in their uh, in their Mantis. Is that the Mantis Q that they made? Um, this actually is, uh, you know, a, a Mantis Q. I'm telling you, this is a Mantis Q with a different, with a different body. That's it. I guarantee you, this is the exact same drone as the Mantis, 
with white covering. They just took the same drone and just switched it over. But, you know, I guarantee it's the same thing. I, get, I bet you Unique spent nothing. Uh, let's see, uh, 2017. So this drone is a 2017 drone. Okay, 2017. So the 4th of July is coming up. Okay, yes. Yes, an M80 would be nice. Now, okay, just to be honest, I'm going to tell you what I paid for this. This thing probably has changed hands several times. I've seen it as low as $120. I actually tried to buy it for $120. And the guy that tried to sell it to me um, reneged on it and refunded my money. And actually, that worked out to my benefit because I found another private seller. that this Now, this is obviously used. I uh, this one, um, actually, I've changed all the props out, too. Uh, I have, a, I even bought new props to replace these. And this thing is not, these props are not meant to be replaced. They are very difficult to take out. You have to literally peel off a rubber piece. Now, people, do, I always thought from the videos I watched that these little pieces right here, let me go ahead and give you a, a close-up on that. What I'm talking about are these little puppies right here, these little plastic pieces right there. And those things are like little tiny rubber, like matting, and you have to literally glue them in. The, the, the sticky, you know the sticky stuff for like the wall, those wall attachment um, doodads? You know, you, you stick to the wall, the little uh, 3M things, where you got that sticky rubber in there. That's exactly what's holding these things in there. There's no clicking, no nothing. So um, when I replaced it, it, the rubber came off and you can't reuse it. So I took, I literally took super glue and super glued them in there when I replaced the props. Guys, I have, no, I, I have, there's no way I'm going to ruin the props on this thing. I'm not going to fly it that much. Um, but uh, the props are, you know, good, good plastic. You know, they're not, uh, so this plastic isn't bad. Um, when I, when I read the dis disclaimer on, I told you I was going to tell you the price. When I read the disclaimer on the, the person that was selling it, they said that it had that the one of the prop guards was cracked, which it was. Now this thing has the cheapest prop guards ever. Why would you put a? Why would you save money on a prop guard when that's supposed to like guard your props? They literally are brittle plastic. They found the cheapest, most brittle plastic. I don't even have the prop guards in here. I just left them at home. Um, I'm not keeping them in the box because all I do is clutter up the box. So, oh, hey, Philly. Hey, man, I don't have you rent. Hey, Philly, you don't have to beg to be wrenched, dude. Okay. I need to, I need to see that. Then it just sounds like you're begging. Okay. All right. Philly's got it wrench. Um, if anybody has, uh, if anybody has Skype, um, and you want to share that, I could give you a quick Skype call. So if you want to pop in, I'm going to stay on for a while. I'm going to be on for at least another hour or so. Canadian drone hub in the house. And Roger bought one of the some who bought the, the who well Pusa got the spark, right? Well, Val got the the breeze, right? Well, I feel sorry for Val because I I you know it's a great it's a it's a wonderful a wonderful gift I mean for anybody, but I think um you know, giving a drone, I mean, giving anything, you know, for free is, is, a, is a great gift. But um, I guess this is a girl's drone, huh? You think, you know, I don't know how much Val's going to fly it, you know. Uh, literally, you know, <laughs> too late, wrenched up. Yeah, I wrenched you up, you freaking wrench beggar. Freaking Philly, the wrench beggar. But so what do you think of this thing so far? Um. I paid 75 bucks for it, I think. And I've paid $75 for drones that were lesser quality than this. So I don't feel too bad about that. $75 is what I ended up spending on this. Now, is this thing worth 75 bucks? Yeah, probably. There's probably 75 bucks worth because you got you do have brushless motors on here. Um, they're shitty, cheap. Did I say shit? All right. Uh, brushless motors. And these, are, these mounts are really crap. Um, so if you had to replace this, I don't think you could go and find you. You know, this would actually be a great mod project if you could replace these motors with another, uh, like a uh, another FPV flyers motor. Find out what the specs are. 
This would be really cool if you could mod it out. Maybe that's what I'm going to do with this thing. And then use an FPV uh, prop. That would be a cool, a cool uh, uh, kind of experiment is to mod this thing out, put tri-blade props on it. Actually, this would be a great drone for tri-blades. I wouldn't – the. It's it's hardly it's hardly a a uh, it's hardly a travel drone. It doesn't fold up. It's too big. Let's let's do a quick uh, let's do a quick let's see. Come close to your phone. Love my. I'll, I'll kiss you so evil so evil leaves. Oh my god. Um, here now here is the difference. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to my other I'm gonna go to my other view because this is just so you know we we see the cheap. We see the cheap ch uh, prop housings here. Let me just go here. Let me do this. This is really a one of the elements of this drone that's very cheap. I'm gonna go ahead and just and just show you that really quick. Now, do you see that? Do you see that? Okay. So these are just little tiny. Uh, I think they're vinyl, vinyl inserts, and they cover up the the screws. You know. I should we should I should just you know take a black magic marker take it out and just color it black it would probably look cool uh, and just take it off since you're gonna have to change props out anyway this thing was never designed that's another thing this thing was never designed for that to be fixed or that to those props to ever be replaced because you cannot replace these props without uh, damaging this piece. And once you damage it, you can't replace it. So once you replace the props, you lose the, the little white uh, detail. So so there you go. Then you got this big bulbous freaking GPS unit that sits on the top. I mean, literally bulbous. It's, it's, it's freaking just uh, insanely like not built in. It's kind of like, you know, you get you want a cool car. Don't you think you'd build something in like that or you'd put that inside of the drone somewhere? Why you take this big bulbous thing and you just have it, you know, just pop out of there? Okay. That's another thing. You just, you know, you just like, like I said, I'm going to tell you some good stuff about it. There is some good things about this thing. And, uh, but there, there's no way I would ask any of my friends to buy one. I wouldn't, I would never say go buy one of these. There's no reason to. There's so many good things out there. <laughs> this thing was never designed. Enough said. Yeah, well, the 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 mantis, I believe, was, and I believe this was a failure, and they decide they decided to create the mantis to replace it because I believe the mantis has the same camera. Now this camera is not bad at all. They have some good camera software for this thing, and the stability isn't terrible. Um, if you've watched Dustin Dunhill's. Uh, uh, 4K shot that he did with this thing, with of the beautiful, uh, I don't know, the big the rain tree. I mean, that's a that's a that's a really good picture. Um, I I actually took a mountain picture of this. It's on my blog site, guys. I do have a blog site now. Hold on here. I got to pump my blog. I know Dennis has been on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna start giving uh, giving written ex, ex, uh, ex, explanations of what I like and not like about things. I do have uh, I have I do have a little bit of a creative way of writing certain things, so I can take um, uh, a, a really boring review and and add some things to it. I did that. I mean, I did that too. Let me let me, let me just go here really quick. I just want to. I'm going to go ahead and I just want to throw a link in there, guys. It is my show, and what I should be doing is entertaining you while I go and I put that link in there, shouldn't I? Now you guys were probably wondering why I created that that annoying stream of music that some of you guys might not like be rockers like me, um, but for these times where you're transitioning, you can throw some rock music in their ears and distract them for a little bit. So let me just go here really quick. Hold on here, I just got to log in. My login screen there. Now this is just an this is going to be an informational site. Of course, there's going to be some advertisements built into it, but. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. It's it's uh, dad random. It's dad random. I think that's what it is. Hold on here. I got I got too much crap sitting in front of me. Go ahead here. It's uh, dad. Up uh, dad random. 
dot I think deadrandom.digiblogs.org. Hold us hopefully this works here. Hold on there. Page not found. Oh, I know what I did. I don't even know my own blog URL. Uh Dad random seven zero at edgy blogs, all right. All right, let's go like that. Let's see if I can find this puppy. Where in the heck is that? Oh, there's my other one. Oh gosh, my I'm the Google's just loaded with crap that I got on there. There's there it is right there. Come on here. My, oh, there we go. Got it. Hold on here. I'll get there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for right there. Rocker. Yes, I, I'm a rocker, but I uh, I do enjoy many other things. Uh, but, yes, I do enjoy here. Kind of copy that. Here, I just want to paste this URL into uh, – into the stream right there. But uh, dadrandom70.edgeblogs.org, I just created a partner program uh, with here. I'll sh let me show you really quick. Um, oh, there's that, hold on here. Where in the hell? Here, I know what's good here. Let me do this, hold on here. Turn that, dis oop, that there. that's not what I wanted. I wanna turn that off right there. Right. So back behind me is the blog right there. And I, all I'm doing is taking things like, for example, there's been a lot of hype about a Spark 2. Um, I am now a Spark fanboy, just so you know. There's your uh, special effects. I am now a huge Spark fanboy. Drone worship in the house. Hey, drone worship, if you ever wanted to ask a question or touch a unique breeze, you probably have. Um, I have got one basically in my hand right now. So if you want to see something, um, and you want to have a close up of it, for example, these cheap little uh, little air vents that are on here. Um, there it is. There's the breeze. Here's the bottom. Most of the time, you see these missing right here. This little this little uh, this little shade that they put on there. I, I wonder why they put a um, they put a shade on it. It's it's almost like it's it's definitely a uh, Look at that thing. It's reflective. You see how reflective that is? And it, it's almost it's it's like a filter. And I don't know why they put a light filter on there. I want I want the punch. You should. But I, I, I I'm telling you, I, I paid so little for this thing that I'm that's why I'm holding it in my hand. I am too cheap to hold to um I paid like seventy five bucks for this thing with the controller. So, but there it is. Um, you go ahead and just get this thing down, put it on the table, pull out. Yes, gentlemen, you should always you should always pull out in time. Um, but these the little you know the little uh, the little legs. I don't know why drones don't they don't put the like collapsible legs on drones more often. This is something I wish the uh, the Spark had. Uh, just something simple. Um, I guess it's weight, you know, when you're looking at it finally. Uh, Dan could, yeah, skeet shoot it. That would be something. When I'm all done with it and I've totally been, uh, I've had enough. Like I said, it has a good little camera. It's This camera's got the, it's pretty decent. I wish they would take this same camera and put it in some other drones that are that are out there in the market. Because it's got the, uh, it's got image stabilization in it. But it's nowhere near the Bebop's image stabilization. So it's not as good as a Bebop. It ha not even close. It's not even in the same ballpark as a Bebop. Uh, it, it doesn't even hold the jock strap of a freaking... It, it's nowhere anywhere near a spark. You know, I mean, when you hold... Let me, let me, let me give you a... You know, when, you put, when you put a spark on top of it, okay? It's, it's dominating it right now. It's, it's, it's teabagging right now the, uh, the unique breeze. So the spark right now is is uh, giving a man moment to the unique breeze right now. So we're gonna let unique finish. Uh, we're gonna let the uh, spark finish real quick here. <laughs> um, but this this drone right here is an absolute work of art. 
I, I, I am totally a fanboy of that that spark. That is one of the most amazing pieces of technology that's ever come out. It it definitely has its has its uh, have its has its limitations, but they're not as bad as a lot of people made it sound when they when they first came out. I I really I literally thought I was going to fly this thing, and I was going to fly for five minutes, and I was going to have to take it down. So, and it and the spark has you at least have at a minimum twelve minutes. And a lot of people go, well, that's not enough time. This thing can fly freaking, you know, a long ways in 12 minutes. It is fast. So like Dan was, the drone worship was saying, um, he was saying, you just got to get good at changing between your modes. You got to be good at going from sport mode to, um, you know, to film mode. You just got to, you just got to know the drone and, um, and have a bunch of batteries. It's literally that, that simple. And so. <laughs> I got some great combo going on. I love it. So, yeah, this thing is just freaking, it's just awesome. Look at how small it is. People understand. I mean, I mean, look at that thing. It's in the palm of my hand. It's just tiny. It's literally, I, you know, when I remember when I saw this thing for the first time uh, at, uh, at Walmart, it's the first time I was ever, you know, get close enough to touch it and, you know, pick it up. Um, I was like, this is crap. You know, it's, 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 you know, I really never, um, I don't think they had batteries in it. When when Walmart puts them out, they take the batteries out. So now it feels like it's a light a light um, a light piece of junk. But it is solid. It has got nice solid connections. Everything is in it where it's supposed to be. I mean, it's built like a cell phone, like a good cell phone company would make. And these little batteries are, you know, are you know, this puppy's ready to go, dude. But you know, they snap in nice. Um, you got the SD card back here. You got it. You can charge it right up from the, you know, from the mini uh, USB. I mean, it's, you know, it's got a lot of really cool. I mean, and, and you think about the, the thought that went into this, the design and the thought that went into this drone. And then, and the, you know, the, you know, they get, they, they set the, you know, they set the standard for also for the controller for it. I mean, this puppy is, you know, you get a you get a you know easily a mile and a half a distance. I don't even I don't even have the the reflectors for it. I'm not even buying the reflectors because I don't want to go that far with this thing. Because whatever I need to fly to is going to be close enough for this 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 uh, controller to get to. Um, now, if I if I had to go long range and get, I would go back to the Bebop in a second. The Bebop has. Uh, probably a little is a little bit easier to use than this. I'd say the Bebop has a little bit simpler, what I would consider be learning curve. This one has a few more bells and whistles, so the learning curve is a little longer. But the Bebop is is still, um, if you look at all of the features and in, in the the width of what it gives you, the, um, you can go uh, you can go much further with the Bebop if you're a new drone flyer. And yeah, I'm you know I've been there, done that. So this was the next step, and I'm so I, I'm so li liking this drone. It is it is yeah, I'm definitely a I'm definitely a, D, uh, a DJI fanboy for sure. Um, I've picked up some batteries on the cheap. Okay, I picked up uh, a bunch of batteries. I think I just picked one up for like thirty eight dollars. So you know I got a stack of batteries there. I've got three batteries. Um, you have to have this part. This thing is critical. This puppy will save your beep ass. Okay. And the reason why it will, it will basically save your butt is because it takes the place of those dumb A legs that I was telling you about. Now this thing has to have legs. Okay. This drone here, it has to have legs to, to protect it, to, you know, to protect it from, from whatever uh, happens to it. Now this thing, of course, I, I've got the I've got the uh, the filter on it or the or the shit sunshade on it, but this little puppy here is simply a, a a gimbal protector, and it also is a crash protector. So when it when you take a hard landing, it basically protects that whole little area where the gimbal is, and it's very light. So instead of buying four legs for this thing, you just buy this little three dollar gimbal protector right here. Bam right there 
this thing right here takes the place of what you know if you if you were if somebody was to think of putting legs on this drone but it just snaps in it's super light it adds zero weight to this thing well of course it adds weight but but um just amazing it's an amazing piece of technology when you feel it in your hand it is super 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 techy you can you can feel quality in this drone so and I, I i don't know if i'll ever make the mistake of touching a drone until i you know you know i think you need to actually go to the product and but this thing is just nice just very good and there's a lot i need to learn about it so so what are you guys doing man everybody's freaking you know jabbering behind my back right now there we go and put this thing put this thing back together but uh yeah not even a not even a comparison um i don't know why people would make a video this is not meant to be a comparison it's just a a live com you know a live look at it um of course, I got the OTG. Uh, it was eight dollars. I bought the OTG. Uh, so you, you know, this part gotta have. These are things you have to have. If you're gonna buy a Spark. At least, at least two batteries. I got three batteries. That part right there. In the last thing, I got a ton of. I got a ton of props too. Props are so cheap for this thing. And then you gotta have that cable. And then you're in. So. What is up with here? Let me check this chat. I've been kind of lost on my. So what's up with Mason here? Oh wow. What is going on? He's in a wheelchair. Holy crap. I gotta go back in the stream here. I'm like talking and and like Mason's telling us like a really important story. I'm looking at freaking stupid drones, man. Yeah, there's this is by by guys. Um, if you could find this now, I'm gonna here. I'm gonna and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time talking about if you can find this for the cheap enough price. What I want us to do is think of creative ways of of using it. Now, now, Dan, um, I've got a problem. I got a huge problem going on. Okay, and my problem is this repeater here sucks ass right here. This is a terrible repeater, okay? Um, and we have to go to India. I, you know, I've got people, you know, talking to me, and I told them that we would find, Dan, I need your help on this because you're the master. Um, we need to find a new repeater setup that will replace the old one that right now you can't find. You can't get the old, uh, the old, uh, uh, the old one, uh, 165 repeater. You can't find it. It's uh, I think India is selling them for like, there's some from India for like 50 bucks. Um, but we have to find a replacement repeater system. So you can take these Wi-Fi drones like this and go and get it out there. But this one sucks. This thing is a piece of crap. It's hard to, it doesn't hook up. It's junk. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm actually going to, I'll shoot that with a gun. <coughs> but I said beep, uh, beep and then said, yeah, you like that? You like that? That's how you do it, Dan. You, you, think, you're, you think you're tough? You think you're inappropriate? Guys, I hang around kids all day long. I'm the king of knowing what kids are inappropriate or not. You don't know what I say if I don't say it. I say the word, I say that word like, I don't know, at least once a week. But not anymore. Today's Friday, guys, and school is out. Uh, actually, school is out. Uh, this today was the last Friday, but next week we had a couple of days, a couple of waste days. But uh, there it is. There's the breeze. Let me go ahead and put the, let's get, let's get the, let's get the man's drone away from the whiskey drone here. I can't even, I can't even put it. I don't even want them on the same table. And Dan, I'm going to do a video about the breeze. <laughs> That's not going to be flattering. I'm going to do an unflattering video 
and make the fun out of this drone big time. I am going to wussify this drone to the point where they will not sell another single unit anywhere. Not even, not, you won't even be, I won't even be able to get rid of mine if I want to get rid of it. Literally, I'll have to, I'll have to, uh, uh, you know, do a, a Ken Heron attack on it with a 50 cal or something. But yeah, just, um, I mean, look at, you know, this controller. Now it's, it matches. That's one thing I can tell you about it. It's a matching controller. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <yeah. clears throat> I'm, I'm nursing a cold right now. Not good. But yep. What a piece of boop. But let's say, let's, now let's beat up this controller. Um, you know, basically it's a, it's a, you know, they didn't even, they, they, they didn't even uh, attempt to do anything unique on this thing. They didn't even try it unique. Uh, that's funny. Uh, why are they called unique? <laughs> um, but I mean, it's just a, it's just a, a crappy, you know, cheap copy of a knockoff, you know, this thing doesn't even hold a phone for for crap's sake. I mean, quite honestly, I mean, crap, your phone falls the heck right out of that thing. I mean, it barely holds it in there. I mean, this thing is junk. But look at this. Let's get that in there a little bit. Power it up, maybe. Now, the only reason why this thing powers up and everything and, and sets up is because I had to mess with it for like two days. I mean, it's not that hard, but I mean, I shouldn't have to mess with it at all. If I want a drone to fly, I mean, I should literally just fly it. I should be able to just, you know, you know, put it on the table, put the battery in, make sure it's charged up, turn it on, uh, turn on the controller. They should link and I should be, I should push the takeoff button after, you know, obviously everything's set up. But yeah, I mean, here you go find the, you know, everybody's seen the Breeze app, you know, I'm not, this is not what I want to waste time with today. But um, there's the Breeze Cam app. Of course, we'll go ahead and we can power this puppy up. Oh, where's the freaking power button? Another, another dumb freaking feature, the power button where it's down here. There we go, let's turn the puppy on. And then they copied uh, the uh, parrot uh, turn on. Let's see here. Turn that on. Let's see how. Let's see how quick we can get this puppy rolling here. It. it yeah. There's the controller right there. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's connected. The only reason why it's only, the only reason why this thing connects is because I spent a bunch of time on it. You know. So it's ready to, it should be ready to fly right now. I better, yeah, there it is. There's the F, oh, FPV goggles. That's what I'll put with this thing. That'll be so much fun. But, so, hey, new from Elder Hugo. All right. I haven't seen him in a while. He's, he's kind of, he's kind of gone incognito, Elder, Elder Hugo. And the, he's a, he's a, he's a good dude. If I go to Portugal, I'm going to visit him for sure. But yeah, you can go to piloting and let's see if everything's connected still. Let's see if the let's see if the camera connects up. Now, I don't see a camera yet. So right there is a problem. Just go ahead and make sure the freaking how about making sure the uh, Wi-Fi is connected? See, this is just an one of those steps that you don't have to do with other drones. Go, now I gotta go there and then I gotta play with that. But you know, think about this, think about somebody that's never flown a drone before, going through all these steps. And you know, literally by the time they get done, here we go for their Wi-Fi right there. Cause I gotta make sure, we gotta make sure we connect up the Wi-Fi, you know, here we go. There it is, there's the Wi-Fi. So now we should have camera. Oh, there we go. We got a little beep. Let's go there. Yep, there we go. We got camera now. There we go. Bam. So, little. let's see. Latency, latency. 
So there we go. Let's put that down there. So this is going through several cameras, though. That's not bad, though, going through. It's going through a camera that's going through a camera that's, you know, that's not bad. So one of the things I can tell you about this about this drone setup is that the camera's not bad. Um, it, it does have automatic uh, it, uh, uh, saturation, and so it, it does improve the image, so you don't have to go and post-edit uh, it to saturate it. So... Um, I don't like the fact that when you've got the controller on, you can't adjust the camera. So, with the controller on, you can't, you can't adjust the camera with the controller. So, what's the use of having a controller at that point? Once you have to adjust the camera, you're like, all right, crap, I might as well just... I might as well just take it out of its freaking out of the controller and now fly it with the controller. I mean, to me, that's just that's just you know stupid. It's you know totally on the stupid list of things that I don't need to do. So all right, let me get me catch up on this. Who we got? We got the uh, holy crap, guys! I am so far behind the chat because I was sitting here. You know, the breeze is limited to like, yeah, it's, it's, it's limited to 300 feet. Now, I, you know, I've seen people go fly it out. They'll go, they'll go fly it distance wise and then they'll land it and then they'll reestablish the position, the, the takeoff position, then take off again. It's kind of like you can leapfrog, you know, I call it froggering it, which is stupid. Um, you can adjust yours with the controller. What do you do? I'm not going to look at the. I'm not going to go into the manual to to make that adjustment. Be, yeah, no, it's okay. Um, so I'm, why would I go? Why would I go into the manual? Why should I have to go into the manual to figure out, guys? These these this is like game controller freaking buttons. We have to know X Y to freaking you know. It should say there should be a gimbal button somewhere. Now with the with the with the parrot bebop with the fly pad. There's a, obviously there's like you, you pull, I think you pushed out, you pull down on the, like the left stick and then you can move it. Is it something like that? Beyond trees, you you have uh, you have the answer for that. Yeah. Philly's going on a freaking balloon hike. He's going on a, he's going to be the drone. What I should do is make, uh, I should, too bad Philly didn't have this breeze. He could throw it out the freaking balloon and that would be the highest it would ever fly. <laughs> Yes, so here it is, powering off. But now, okay, I've ripped down it enough. Um, I I knew I knew it wasn't gonna. It was an expense, guys. You get what you pay for, and we know that. Okay, so so why would I get it, and why would I buy this thing? And well, if you need to just take a couple of really good shots of a of a house still shots. Um, I would do that. I would use this camera to to take still shots if I, you know, a realtor, and I just want to get a couple of quick pictures. This will take care of that. Um, you can just throw it in there. It's inexpensive. You're not gonna, you know, if you're a realtor, it doesn't have a lot of money, um, and you can't afford a spark. You don't have that kind of expendable income. The sparks are getting cheap though. It's that's the other thing is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get off the here. Let me take this puppy down for a while, and so I can interact with you guys. But I just want to I just want to throw that. But not bad. Camera's not bad. I I I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do some flying with it. I'm I'm gonna talk a little bit about it flying. I'm not gonna. I'll do like an impression video, and I'll say um, budget drones, and then I'll talk about budget drones, um, because I think there needs to be uh, some something said about it if you're into a budget and you and you know what you what you want to get that this could be something for. But I would tell them where to, where to find the what price to look for it at. I, I wouldn't be paying one hundred and fifty dollars for it. A lot of them, what you see right now, are one hundred and fifty dollars. I would, I would, I would, I would save up the money, and I would buy a Spark or a Bebop for sure. For another hundred bucks, I can go buy a Bebop too, and uh, with a with a Sky controller and out of the box, I'd be gone. I'd be flying around, and I'd be having so much fun. The, the setup for a drone like this, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be like this. Even with a Wi-Fi drone, there are there are drones out there that are toys, which literally is what this is, that have easier flying setups 
um, than this than this drone here. So I just uh, so it's it just it, it you know for one that's kind of marketed for the middle road where you know where people that you know want to take some fun pictures it's a selfie drone. Um, it's you know you know the app is is usable. Um, you definitely if you could take the app and the controller and and merge them. Um, and have all you know, and have and have the uh, the 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 gimbal control because to move the gimbal, you have to disconnect the controller, go to the film the the phone mode, adjust the and then go back. But you st and what's uh, Beyond Trees was on. He said that he had <laughs> Beyond Trees said he said I only use it in pilot mode with the controller. Never tried the other modes. Yeah. So, oh, oh, beyond trees. The question was the. Uh, do you know the um, the key, the the key functions and how to move the gimbal? Is what I'm saying. If you could, if you could put that, I would appreciate that. So when I go out, and I will uh, shout you out for helping me out for sure. So, oh, Daddy of Thirteen is on here. Holy crap! Let's moderate some of these guys. I'm gonna add some, guys. I'm gonna add some moderators here. Let's go back to my main. Let's go to the main. There we go. Let's let's have a little bit of a little bit of chat time. Um, and let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and I uh, think Beyond. We want to say Daddy of Thirteen. I got him. I think Beyond Trees. We want to add him on there. I, th I appreciate you guys popping in. Um, and that will definitely be, uh, we got Thomas O'Sullivan is in, uh, in the house. I gotta see what you guys have been up to. Mike B, AKA the drone ranger. Yes. And of course, yes, the limitations. Let's see. Question. How do you control the camera with the RC? Yeah. Thank you, Dennis. Dennis is doing my, Dennis is doing my, uh, He's translating my my dad random speech to actual human speech. But yeah, it would be nice to be able to yeah, because like with the with the fly pad, with the fly pad, you hold down the left button and you uh, you move the left stick up and down, and it will it will adjust the gimbal. That's how you do the and the fly pad is. I'm telling you, the fly pad just blows doors over this thing. The battery lasts forever. It's nice and solid when you're holding it. I wonder if you could fly this drone with a fly pad. Hmm. Because it's the same cost. They charge the same for both. And the fly pad is a better, it's a better controller. I'm just interested. Uh, you think it, it said a game, any, a lot of uh, other game controllers can do it. So, so anyways, if somebody could answer that one for me, I would really appreciate that. Let's see. Is Beyond Trees up there? I use the up and down on the D pads. Now I use the up and down on the D pads, and it was doing something else. So he's saying the D right here, just up and down on the. So maybe I was pushing it like fi sideways, funky. I'll try that. So just the D pad. Well, that would be nice. I mean, I would I would give it some kudos for that. So when I'm flying this thing, and if these things work out and it becomes easier um then i will definitely make that note i would say hey you know on my video on my live stream but shouldn't you know shouldn't that be you know so on this d-pad shouldn't it say gimbal up and gimbal down that would be nice especially if they they went through the they went through the effort of putting their name on the controller why wouldn't you put the the functions now i know they have if you if you pull the uh uh if you hit the let's see is it the b button it shows the menu on your on your phone screen so i do know that oh a for android phone and y for iphone okay oh are you talking about the the y oh okay when you turn the controller you must hold a or Y and power on the same time. Oh, okay. He's okay. So we got, I'm glad we got an expert on here. A for Android phone, Y for iPhone. Okay. Oh, that's okay. That makes sense. 
A for Android, Y for yeah. um, maybe a little time. I don't know they're just trying to they're trying to use the you know the you know the 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 pre-made. They're just trying to control costs. I totally understand why they did that. It but it still would be nice to have. You know, anytime a controller is marked, it's clearly labeled. Um, you got to assume people are like me. I'm I'm a, I'm a novice. I don't know anything about this, and I'm going to I'm now going to YouTube to learn to fly it. I don't think you should. I think when you go to YouTube, you should be learning to do other things. You should be, you know, yeah, uh, seventy five bucks is what I paid for this which is a good deal. It's about half of what, uh, and I did buy it from a private seller and this was sold twice. Um, the firmware is updated though on it. It's got the updated firmware in it. Um, like I said, the camera works like a jam. Not bad in the, it stabilizes the camera and not bad at all. I, I'm gonna say that about it. Um, it does, it's not loud. Uh, it's got a, a reasonably, you know, it's got a good, a good tone to, the fly, to, the, to it flying. It's not annoying. Um, it's a little bit slow um, as it reacts. I think I can change those modes. The uh, you know to you know then the controller. I'm sure I can adjust that to a certain point. I know there's a lot of the slides on there, but I don't know if that adjusts the 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 actual controller itself. Um, so I've had this just to give you. I've had this drone for about two weeks, and I've flown it twice. I just haven't had time, but I will. Uh, Next, starting next week, I'll have, I'll have all summer. So, and I'm going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to have some fun with this. I will do uh, some video shorts with it, probably three, four minute videos, nothing long. Um, obviously I don't have to do any long distance flying with this thing, but I'm going to bring it out in some, into the country and where there's a lot of beautiful colors and, and see, you know, what I can see, how, see, see what the fun factor is. So it's a Freudian thing. <laughs> F for, does F stand for phone? <laughs> it stands for and phone. <laughs> but you cannot use the fly pad, okay? You may, you might be able to use a regular Bluetooth. I get you, okay. So the fly pad is, is, uh, no, it's off dim. So you could probably, I could probably get another Bluetooth game controller and it would work. Yeah. The fly pad would be nice. That thing's a, that's a great controller. It just feels, when I got it in the mail, I'm like what? I, I paid like $25 for the fly pad. It was 25 or $26. And when you get it, it, it's like, it's, it, when you feel it, it's like, like, wow, this is like. This is, isn't this a regular controller? You'd think it would be the standard controller for the drone. It's that it feels that good, and this is very like I said. Most people call it say plasticky. Um, yeah, it's just really, you know. But like I said, here's the good thing. I told you the good things about it. Um, this, uh, of course, will charge. You know, it's mini. It's mini USB chargeable. I have no idea how long this will fly. I can imagine that it doesn't. Uh, oops, there we go. I'm, I can imagine it doesn't eat too much power. It, most of the power is going to be eaten by the phone, which is doing the Wi-Fi work. Um, I'm Dan. I'm so glad you didn't buy this thing. I really am. I'm so glad you didn't because all you would have just you'd have eaten its lunch. Um, I, you know, and I am so glad I watched you fly the. Uh, uh, what the frick is that other? Uh, is that the the. Uh, the little the orange drone you have, the little the little selfie drone. I can't remember the name of that. But this yeah, this piece of plastic right here is just it's just crap. It's just junk. I mean, your phone will fall and then the spring doesn't it just it doesn't hold anything. It's I can I can shoot things with it. You know, I can shoot stuff at the camera. Yeah, you know, I can do that. Here we go. Find something to shoot. Like here we go. See, this is what this this is what this thing's good for right here. Check this out. This is what the this is what the unique breeze controller is good for. Watch this. I'm gonna shoot stuff. That's what it's good for right there. Shooting erasers. If I was a kid, that's what I'd use it for. 
<laughs> but guys, just be honest. I, I'm, I you got to get. I mean, I know I'm beating it up, but this is the yeah. And I and I know that it wasn't made for this. It was made for like a flying with a like a like a tablet or a phone. But uh, this was just something that people want, um, which can add to its you know to long distance flying and control. You get way better control with the. So I'm gonna if I can get camera control like you're telling me because I I when I when I put the directions on when I had it on the controller and I was you know pushing the uh, you know I was popping up the menu. Um, I, it's, I, it, it, it referred to the D pad, but when I moved the D pad up and down, it was adjusting the drone. It wasn't adjusting the camera. Um, like I said, maybe it was the way I was doing it. So I'm going to try that out. So we RV in the house. He was cruising the circle and hit the geo fence and, and did some funky swaying. <laughs> Well, like I said, it's it's a it's a fairly stable uh, it's a fairly stable GPS. Uh, it, it does pick up a, a it does pick up, um, yeah. It's a you know I understand. It, it's okay if it's a selfie drone. Why in the hell is it this big? It is guys. It's humongous. Okay, you know you ever seen one of those one of those shots where people are doing you know doing all these, you know where it looks ginormous. It, it's this is too big for a selfie drone. This is too big. This does not, you can't throw this in your purse. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it, it doesn't, and if it, if the, if the, if it folded up, then I would consider more, a more of a selfie drone, you know, but, but no, I, 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 I apologize if I'm offending, um, about the drone because there's good things about it. I mean, there the if you could take the insides of this drone and put it into something else, a little more manly, like the Mantis, okay, you're gonna have the same drone. Um, configure your, I mean, it's got optical uh, stabilization. It's got a you know an optical camera. It's got you know so you know it's going to it's gonna hold position and uh, you know at you know 15 feet it's gonna. You know, it's going to keep its position. So when that, which is good, you know, um, but you'll notice that in the air, when, when it tries to stabilize in 1080 in the air, it, um, it, 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 there is some movement. It's, it's not the same, it's not the same stabilization that the Bebop is put in there. Now, if you could take a Bebop, you know, camera and put that in any drone, um, you change the entire drone. The Bebop camera is by far one of the best cameras out there for a 1080 camera. Um, not the same quality of the of the Spark camera, but but yeah, this is in good shape. The logo, guys, the logo is brand new. There's no scratches on this thing, zero. Um, the only scratches I had was on one of the props when it came. Uh, it was packaged nice. Whoever sold it to me, uh, actually the person that sold it, guys. Here's a here's a lesson for you guys, okay? That are uh, that are selling your drones, okay? Take the SD card out or clear the memory because I had all these pictures from all these people on there, video and you know they didn't erase the memory. So I saw the I saw the last flight of it. So if the guy would have lied and said, I never crashed this thing and I bought it and I, I would take his video off and said, here, here's you crashing this drone. Um, he was flying it in a field with tall grass. So when it landed, it, it, it munched down the propellers. It was like a, like a hay field. So it, it did do some, it did crunched a little, it did some ed edge damage to the propellers. So I replaced them right away. So these puppies are pristine now. All the props are, all the props are sweet. So. Everything's ready to go. I put all the caps back on. Um, I bought an extra, I got two batteries for this thing. And so I get it. I'm going to get a good, a good eight minutes of flying time. So that's another thing. I mean, this thing gets, gets really crappy flying time. Uh, what it's, um, what I'm seeing from people, they're saying like, you know, 10 minutes, you know, but we'll see. I'll, I'll verify that and we'll do a little bit of a test and, um, Kind of like with the spark, somebody was saying that the spark had this really loud, annoying uh, flying sound. I didn't feel, guys, I don't feel that. I didn't hear that. Dan, are you still on? Is drone worship still on? Sell stuff 101, yeah. 
Is, is Dan still on? I was just curious what he thought of the sound of anybody here a spark owner? Yeah, I have. I do have uh, now. The the props I did. I do have these. I actually bought another set too. I I have another. I have a whole other set. So, I if if I do sell this thing, which probably I will eventually do. These are the original replacement props here. Um. So here's the original replacements. But I bought a set that. Uh, but the this doesn't. They need to. This needs to come with caps. Um, because once, you know, and the screws do have Loctite on them, which is good. So you do have to lock the tips of the screws. If you look really close at the screws, you see that very end there. It's got Loctite on it. It's darker. Oops, dry it back there. There you go. So, so yes, be, beyond trees, man, I am going to, you know, I, I've got a guy, guys, I haven't, I have a toy drone, another one, an X-21. That was that 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 drone. Remember the X? If anybody anybody heard of the X16s and X21s? Okay, Dennis. Okay, I'm going to go back to my original question, Dennis. What do you think of the sound of your spark? Give me your reaction. Hey, Rodney. See you later. Okay. Hey, thanks, Rodney. I appreciate it. I always appreciate you dropping in. I know I was running, guys. I was running at the mouth today. I apologize. Um, I actually wished uh, I had Centroid on the other day. It was nice. He uh, he just uh, happened to pop in. But uh, if, if you do have a Skype stream, uh, or if you do have a Skype app, and you'd, uh, I mean, I know you have to use phone numbers and things like that. But but you could we could email and that kind of thing. Um, I could send you a link too. I think yeah, with Skype, I can send you a link. But uh, if you, if anybody wanted to call uh, call in, I'm willing to. I do have a a chat set up with this system. Uh, same volumes of Maverick Pro. Yeah, I I'm, I am gonna check that out. I know there's videos out there that do that, but I want to actually see it myself. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a sound test with this because this is actually pretty quiet. Um, this is actually not annoying, and you know, so I think a selfie drone has to be, you know kind of unobtrusive because you're going to be the, the but the, the old problem with the selfie concept is that it needs to be something if it hits a person that's close by because self you're you're around other people it it can't hurt people this I, this thing probably won't i don't think the motors will you know i don't think it would i think it would hurt the drone it would fall on the ground and that person would be a little bit chick up <laughs> but <coughs> it's just a little big Due to pitch, yeah, spark sounds like that, yeah, because it's a smaller prop, right? Um, I do have one of these little doohickeys. Flew a mini, a mini visual. Has has that'd be cool? Hey, beyond, I'm actually wanting to get. I'm thinking about getting one of these little, uh, getting one of those little Tello knockoffs that are about fifty bucks. Not get a Tello, but get the knockoff version. See, I've got one of these, you know, little sound, little sound puppies. So, so we can a little little decibel meter. We can do a little bit of. Oh, is 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 the rock music too loud for anybody here? Is it a little bit loud in here? And we're going to do this. And my sound didn't go on because. I didn't turn it on. And... Let's see if it'll pick it up. That's like a spark right there. That blows some eardrums. Yeah, yeah I'll turn that on too. All right. Kind of fun, isn't it? There's no music. Well, they finally got there. It took me a second to get it get it going. Now it's there, right? Bam! I've got it coming twice there, dude. There we go. There. Let's see if we can pick up the DB media.
Obviously, it's different coming through your system. There you go. About 100. Yeah, okay, that's not good for people's ears. Still fun. But um, it'll be interesting. Let me turn this thing off. Uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to ear. Hold on. Here. I just want to I want to turn it right there. All right. Okay. Like I said, to to see what happens. I'm not gonna. I I know that's been there, done that. So 74 dBs. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see, you know, but mostly for me, I'm not going to go, oh, I am the expert at sound, and there's only been 100,000 Americans that have, have bought breezes and unique, uh, you know, unique breezes and sparks that uh, are going to need that information, which they probably don't or care about at this point. I just am interested. So, uh, well, we hit 90 something, Dennis. We hit about, we hit 96. So, you literally could get, uh, you could send, I should probably have a waiver, huh? That should pop up before my stream starts. So, all right, guys, I think, I think I've overstayed my stream welcome. Don't you think? I think so. And like I said, if, if one of you guys, Dennis, I would love to talk to you. I'd like to hang out with you live. I, I know, I, I think, do you use Skype or, or, or Google Hangouts, Dennis? We could put We RV on there and have them play us a live tune. Have you got Skype there, Deniso? We'd like to like to get yeah. We got to open Dennis up. We got to get. And this summer is my job is to get Dennis. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna we're gonna kind of get him to sow his wild oats a little bit. <laughs> oh man. Did you let's see let's see beyond trees he's I'm gonna look for that drone uh, JC yeah JJRC H31 with no cam yeah that's the only pre yeah I'm I yeah. does it does anybody ha I'm sure uh, I'm sure somebody has a tello in here hey 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 beyond trees you on you on your way out because I'm on my way out too guys it's that time of night I've, I I'm about I'm only good for about an hour and then I I run out of gas and that's kind of my speed. Plus it's dinner time and it's Friday and my my daughter's making dinner. Amelia is making something special for dinner tonight. So my awesome daughter Amelia, she is so awesome. Uh that's why I didn't have her on cuz she was going to make us all dinner tonight. So That is one great kid. I got guys. I got three great kids. My son Hayden is um, is going to law. He's going to be practicing law in Las Vegas, so that's going to be cool. So he's we're going to be moving him around, and he's going to be in Vegas as a big lawyer. He's got a big. There's a big law firm out there that uh, is interning him this year. Um, it is a. Uh, uh, it is a, I, I can't tell you the law firm, but be, for legal reasons. <laughs> Your daughter's the cook at the house there, we? Yes, Amelia's making dinner, Dennis. She kicks butt at making dinner. It's always interesting. She's very eclectic. Um, it's going to be good. We. That's why I'm excited. Always. And I'm excited. I wish I could get her on live. Maybe I'm going to try to get her on live this weekend. We'll just pop on on like Saturday, maybe. She's so busy. Hey, Mason, we'll see you, man. I apologize that I haven't, I wasn't very good with the lot, with the stream today. I wasn't very good interacting. I'm usually a little more kind of into what's going on. I just thought it would be kind of fun to, to throw this, uh, to throw this little puppy around. And, but I actually learned something. I, I appreciate, uh, um, beyond, uh, beyond trees, uh, telling me some things that I didn't know. And, um, that, that information will be used. I'm going to check his controller information. And if he did help me, I will definitely, 
Guys, I am approaching a thousand subs pretty soon. I think I need to give something away. So I think it's time. I think I've been greedy enough. I think it's time to maybe uh Dennis did it. He went through the he went through the uh the giveaway and I think I I think I maybe I'll give this breeze away. I'll show how I'll I'll I'll, I'll make sure I glamorize it a little bit. Um it's used, but guys, it's it's like brand new. I mean, it flies like new. It's it has all the it has two batteries that'll come with it, the controller and I'll make sure that I know a little bit about it so when when somebody does get it I can I can help them with me you know, some of the you know some of the problems I had so John Isabella I have not met you it's nice that you're here we really appreciate you Yeah I think a, I think a breeze giveaway would be good and like I said I don't I don't I guys I told you that if this thing if this thing isn't like freaking new if I will I won't I'll make sure it's packaged in the original box I still have it but um, I'll, I will be very easy and careful uh, when, with my flying. And then it will reach a fifth person. Maybe this is the drone that goes around the world. Um, it actually was in Germany. So, so I think a Breeze giveaway would be something that would be fun. Um, I would just have to – I have to look through the, 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 the correct way of doing it to make sure. Um, it would be very difficult to send this to, to – uh, uh, you know, really far away places. Uh, I don't know. I have to make sure I, I can cover the cost of shipping and all that. And cause I don't want to, I, I want to make sure that if somebody wins it, I can, you know, I can give it to them without, you know, breaking the bank. It's not going to cost, cause if it costs me a hundred dollars to freaking ship it, I ain't shipping it. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have millions of dollars to throw around as much as everybody thinks. So, all right. So guys, I am going to head out. But I think I think this would be uh, uh, you know especially somebody that doesn't have a drone, um, maybe I'll do that. I, I will if you do a giveaway, you can't do that. You can't limit the people to, to want it. I don't know because I because I I always get people that go you know I don't have a drone and I need a I would like to have a first drone and that kind of thing and and I I think I think whoever gets it needs to want it and. And and is gonna get something if they if they want to take pictures. John, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna moderate you. I'm adding you on my moderator list, so I appreciate you popping in. Um, we are gonna shut the stream down though. Um, have to. I just have to. I got it. It's that time. And once again, it is time to switch over to weekend mode and. I'm going to uh, say goodbye to everybody. Uh, maybe I'll see you on the stream tonight. I don't know. My wife gets a little bit perturbed if I'm constantly streaming, and uh, we'll see. But I, I, I put a lot of work in this week, and we'll see. I'd like to, I'd like to get guys. I'd like to get to 1K. So I want to get to 1K. I got a lot of, I got a lot of hours to do yet for viewership. And anyway, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Happy Friday to everybody. Let me see if I can find that. I think I got a Happy Friday icon in there somewhere. Let's see. Happy Friday. There it is right there. Bam. Happy Friday to everyone from Dad Random. Love you guys. And happy flying. Guys, don't do anything illegal. Um, as much as we want to have fun with our drones, we want to keep our drones, don't we? So great weekend, guys. Love you. And till next time. I have no idea when that next time is going to be, but I will let you know soon. Dennis, I appreciate you being on my stream so long. We RV, always great. Uh, we got on there. Let's go back through it. We got John Isabella, a little shout out. Oh, man, I don't even have him. Uh, yeah, he's my new guy. And Mason Kaiser, who always is in. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Who else we have in here? Let's go back. Yep, Mason's gone. And we also had... Uh, Beyond Trees joined us. Thank you so much, G Beyond Trees. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna show his channel. I have not seen it yet, but I'm gonna go check it out. Um, uh, earlier, oh, we had Rodney Bell. He always jumps in. He's. It's always dinner time for him, and it's Friday. His wife probably yelled at him. Thanks, for Rodney. But uh, that's a good group right there. I really appreciate you guys, and uh, have a great weekend. Later, bye.